Hey there, Diane Conklin with CompleteMarketingSystems.com. One of the things people are asking me about a lot right now is pricing. Pricing is one of those things that um, people want a definitive answer to. Tell me what to charge. Um, and there's no real formula. There's no real right or wrong answer many times. Um, you know, you want this like ABC plus element OQ to the 12th power is what you should charge. Or take your cost times whatever, right? It doesn't really work that way. There's so many variables. Here's, so I'm going to give you a couple things. The first thing is, is I don't want you to put yourself in a position of being a commodity, right? If you're a commodity, then your prices are driven by the market because you can get it anywhere, right? Um, you can you can buy butter or corn or oil or you know it's a commodity right so they're price wars that's not the position that I want you to, to be in I want you to have something that you can look at your price and say you know what maybe there are ranges maybe there are big ranges right one of the examples that I use a lot is hotels huge range you can pay a lot or a little, right? If you go to, you know, a Best Western, a La Quinta, a, a Motel 6, a Super 8, something like that, you know, you, you might be able to get a room for 40 bucks a night, 50 bucks a night. You go to a, a Sheraton, a Hilton, a Marriott, you pay, might pay somewhere between, you know, 149 and $200. You go to a Ritz, whole different ball game, right? Um, or other hotels, but, but that's sort of the gamut probably in your industry there's some of that as well so the part of this boils down to your positioning when you look at price look at your position you know I don't ever want you to be the low the low price leader because somebody can always undercut you in price but I want you to think about who your clients are um, and I want you to take your paradigms from I wouldn't pay that or you know I can't charge that much and sort of put them aside here for a little bit. Here's the thing that I, that some of the advice that I've been given about pricing. Um, I have a friend who had a company called Charge, uh, uh, Charge What You Deserve because so many people he felt like were underpricing. Um, Dan Kennedy, who is a, a mentor of mine, I've heard him say this more than once. What charge the biggest number you can charge without laughing or choking that you can get out of your mouth without doing one of those two things. Now. Some people would say that's not right. Um, you know, my thing would be, you know, the hotel looks the same with the lights off, right? Now, there are different experiences, there are different quality of towels and sheets and amenities and bigger TVs and, you know, whether it has a full restaurant. We could go into all of that. Well, look at your products and your services and your company sort of in that same vein. I don't want to, you know, there are, there are always people who will buy the Aston Martin right let's let's switch and look at cars there are always people that'll buy the Aston Martin there are always people that'll buy the Pinto I know I'm aging myself here right and then there's those in between right the the a, a nice SUV or a Bonneville or or whatever right so there are people who want things in different price ranges who do you want to be inside of your own industry um, I, I actually was at a meeting um, last night <clears throat> and somebody said he's, he's new in a position and uh, he's the head guy and he said my experience in coming into positions like this is, has always been the same. He's 59 so he has some experience. This is what he's done his whole career. He said in the first 90 days 10% of the people will not like me. I won't be able to do anything right and I'll be do, able to do nothing to change their opinion of that. There'll be ten percent of the, the people who love me, who I can't do anything wrong, and they'll never change their opinion of that. He said it's the eighty percent in between that I'm trying to figure out and deal with and make happy and and have a relationship with. And I thought that was a really interesting way to sort of look at things. Now I think for most of us that eighty percent is probably too big. It's too wide of a margin, but find some space in there set your prices here's the thing I would say to you is it's typically easier to decrease your price than it is to go up 
Now, that doesn't mean you can't go up. It doesn't mean we, we do. But the, the thing that I often fear is giving somebody a price, and if they say okay too quickly, <laughs> I feel like maybe I could have gotten more. I should have charged more. So value of what you're doing and the value of your, your products and your services is a big thing. And how you, um, how you relay that, how you relay your value, how you express that is a big deal, right? There are people, let's look at coaching programs. There are people who have coaching programs for a few hundred dollars a month. There are people who have coaching programs that are $100,000 for the year. Um, obviously, there's a big difference in the deliverability of those. It's also a big difference in the p ability of people to pay. But I know personally several people who have $100,000 coaching programs that they've put 10 or 12 people into. That's a million bucks a year. Um, over a million dollars a year just in that one avenue in the coaching piece of their business. So I know I didn't give you a formula. Pricing is something that we talk a lot about um, at the implementation events when we do them. I actually went into a whole uh, presentation uh, about pricing and, and how, to, how to look at this and, and really give you some standards and guidelines and some really specific things that we work on in the room of, you know, what does this look like? Is this a good price? Is it not a good price? How can you do this? How can you not do that? So if you're interested in sitting in a room and getting really personalized help with this with just 30 to 40 other people, um, check it out. Go to the implementationevent.com and uh, see what we're doing. I would love to have you uh, sit in the room with us and really, really work on what I'm going to call your destiny, your business, where you want to go. Not where other people want to go, not where the other people in the room, where I want to go, but where you want to go. When was the last time you thought about that? Check it out, theimplementationevent.com. I'm Diane Conklin. Until next time, we'll see you then.